Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my update to the summer project use it up for July. I have a few empties and a few new things to introduce, but mostly I have a lot of progress on the new stuff that I put in in June. So if you're excited to see the progress that I've made, then just keep watching. Also, I want to shout out my boyfriend Ryan for buying me this Lululemon athletic uh, set. And I'm absolutely in love with this color. So I wanted to share it for you guys. But yeah, I've got the little top on right now and I've got the biker shorts. It's so adorable. I'll put the color on the screen because I can't remember it, but ah, I'm just obsessed. Okay, so first we are going to start with the empties that I finished up in the last month. There's only three, but I think one of them you're going to be really proud of me for. So the first one that I have is Replica's Sailing Day. Just a little mini perfume that I tested out um, last month. And this was actually really awesome to use during my vacation that I went on last week. I feel like this was the perfect scent to mix with um, Beach Nights. It was just amazing and I really like this scent and I probably would pick up a full size maybe next summer because I feel like, I don't know, summer's coming to a close for me. I don't wanna buy any new scents to use in the summer when it's already halfway through it. Um, so I'm not gonna buy one this year, but maybe next year I'll get a sailing day, but totally recommend it if you're looking for like a clean summer scent. Next, I finished off the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream and this one, was not my favorite. The scent is awesome. Um, I used it all the way up and I also brought this one on my trip with me. The scent is great and it does last, but when it dries down, it leaves your skin kind of sticky um, and not moisturized. So that was a bummer, but you can't buy it anyways. So it's a good thing I didn't fall in love with it. Um, they actually discontinued the scent. So you can't get any more. Um, and yeah, it was a little disappointing. And then the last empty I have is Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Scrub, which I put in completely unused last month. So <laughs> I scraped the bottom of the barrel on this one. It was so yummy. This scent is addicting. I need to go pick up a new one and save it for next summer, I think, because I can't live without this. It was, it was so good, but I absolutely adored it. It even left my skin feeling like hydrated after I scrubbed and it was so good. So Oh, I can't recommend this enough. I'm sad that I finished it, but it was so addicting. I just finished it so quick. So that is it for the empties. Now let's get into some progress and then I will show you guys what I'm putting in new to the project. So first we have my Beach Night set plus this vanilla perfume. So I'll go ahead and update you guys on the Skylar Vanilla Sky Perfume. This one has been really addicting. Here is my progress lines. Honestly, not too much, but it's hard to use up a rollerball I think to use a lot of it um, because I only put it you know on my neck and then on my arms right here every day but I've used it pretty much every single day so really really love this stuff the fine fragrance mist I've gone from here to just about here and I think I made some pretty good progress on it I don't want to finish it honestly because I don't want to have to buy another one off of Mercari. It's one of my favorite things of all time, but I have made some good progress on it. The shower gel and the lotion, however, I've used a ton of. The lotion I'm almost finished because Ryan has actually been using it alongside me. So I started off unused last month and now we're all the way down to here. I swear you guys, every single one of my family members commented that I smelled amazing after I put this on on vacation. So like we'd all go shower after being out at the beach and then I'd walk in the room and they'd be like, who smells like cake? You smell awesome. So just saying, beach nights works. Um, and then the shower gel, I went from here to just a little under halfway. So still need to make some progress on this one, but I'm loving it in the lotion. So now we're moving on to the Coco Paradise and then like Sol de Janeiro knockoff kind of uh, scent combo. So let's get started with progress on the Coco Paradise set. So I have the lotion right here. And I did start it last month unused and we're about almost halfway, not quite yet, but I've used a ton of it. And then the shower gel I've used from right here down to here. So still I've used um, a little more than half and I am really enjoying this scent. It's nothing special in my opinion. Like it kind of smells like anything you can get from like the drugstore that's not like amazing. So it's not my favorite. I definitely love Beach Nights better. The lotion is a little more sophisticated, I guess, because it's kind of perfumey, but yeah, it's not my favorite scent. Um, I don't need a backup of it, but it's still good and I'm still gonna get through it. And then alongside that, I've been using the Bra Brazilian Crush 62, 
So I've made some good progress on this one from here to here. I've been obsessed with it. It's so yummy. I think I've used this more than Beach Nights. It's so good. So I've been really, really liking this scent. And I could definitely see myself finishing it probably in the next month. And then last in that set, I have the Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Butter. I believe last time I was up here, like at the top of the packaging almost, and I've dipped down into where I made a little hole in the middle. So I've definitely used a lot of it. It smells amazing. It lasts forever, but it's almost too hot to use it now. So I haven't been using it a ton, but I do still expect to get some progress on it in the next couple of months. Next, I have my pure sunshine kind of combo here. We have pure wonder in the exfoliating glow body scrub, which I got a ton of progress on. So we started out unused up at the top and then now we're down to here. I'm almost done with it, probably another week and I will be done. So I'm gonna put in a backup um, body scrub to replace this one, but I'm liking Pure Wonder. It's nothing special, but I really do enjoy the glow aspect of it. It's just like a fun little added treat to the shower. It does smell good too. I definitely think it's more of like a winter scent. I could see why it came out in the winter um, and I would probably pick it up again, but in the winter time to use it then, so. That's this one. So Sunshine Mimosa is almost used up. We put her in the project last month right here and it's honestly all the way down here. I probably have another two or three showers to use this one and it's totally finished. Not my favorite. Um, honestly, I'm not really digging the moisturizing body washes right now, I guess, cause it's too hot. Um, but yeah, just need to finish this one up. And the Sunshine Mimosa perfume, I've not really been using. I have a teensy little bit of progress on it but I've just not been interested in anything like fruity. Even though you'd think you'd want something like fruity floral for hot weather, I've just, I've not been liking it. So I'm probably gonna take, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out of the project, I think, um, because I'm not enjoying it. And yeah, so I'm taking this one out. Next, I have the mint chocolate swirl combo. So this is the I Heart Revolution shower shake in vegan mint chocolate. I've only used a tiny bit, honestly, not been in the mood for this one. And I've been trying to focus on the other shower, shower gels. So I'm still gonna keep it in though. I feel like I might want to use it um, because it is Christmas in July and I feel like this is a good little throwback. Same with mint chocolate swirl, which is basically just coconut mint drop. Cause I've actually been using it the last couple of days even though I hadn't used it at all last month. So from here to here is my progress, not a ton. But like I said, I've only been using it for like a couple days. I do really love this one. And I actually figured out that if I mix it with Beach Nights, which is what I did today, it makes a really nice like coconut mint beachy scent. I don't know how to explain it, but these two have very similar um, like muskiness to them that I didn't realize until today. So these two are a really good combo. I think I'm gonna keep mixing them together um, and see where that gets me. And then progress on my minis that I have left in the Coco Cabana line. I'm almost done with this little spray from here to here. Definitely gonna focus on finishing this one up next month. I'm loving this scent. It's a really nice, just simple coconut scent. So I've been enjoying this one. And then the cream cleanser, I've been really liking. Um, I'm right about here on the packaging, so I'm pretty much almost done. Just probably have a couple more days of use on this one. I do like the formula a lot. I've talked about this before, but it's like the moisturizing body washes where I don't feel like it gets me super clean. So when I'm really sweaty, I don't wanna use this, but besides that, it is really nice. And then the last progress I have is my two little mini perfumes that I have left. I have Replica's Beach Walk, which is not my favorite, but it started off here and now we're down to here. I've only got a couple more days of use on this one. And then Chanel Chance um, started off up here and then went to here and now we're here. I don't use this one a lot because it's, I feel like it's more of a date night or like special special occasion kind of scent. So I try to save it for that, but I really just need to get rid of these two next month because I probably have what, one or two days left of use on these. So definitely need to finish those off. Okay, now for the fun stuff, I'm gonna introduce three new body care items for the project. The first one being Replica's Bubble Bath Little Mini Perfume. So like I said, I got a Replica um, perfume set, sampler set. Um, a couple months ago and I've just been kind of putting in um, perfumes as I get a chance. So I'm trying Bubble Bath out. I've heard a lot of great things about this one. I do feel like having something clean and fresh is gonna be great for summertime for the rest of the summer, you know, when it's still really hot outside. So I'm gonna try this one out and let you guys know what I think. 
And then I am gonna put in two body scrubs since I did finish off the Brazil Nut body scrub and I'm pretty much almost done with Pure Wonder. So first I'm gonna put in the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in brown sugar and coconut butter. I have not tried this one yet, so I'm really excited to try this scent, test it out, see what I think. Um, it looks like I have dipped my finger in it though, so maybe I tested it like in the sink or something, but it says it's a deep scrub. So I hope this will be my like super strong exfoliating scrub, but it does also look like it's a glowing scrub. So I'm excited to try this one, see what I think about it. I've heard really great things and I've been dying to try it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the project and finally use it. And then the last thing I'm putting in the project is this Pacifica Island Vanilla Body Scrub. This I actually just received in PR from them um, from Instagram. So thank you for sending this to me, Pacifica. This was gifted, but I do wanna try it out and see what I think because I've not tried any of their body care before. So I'm excited to try it. It says the notes are sugared vanilla and rosehip oil with calming plant powered aromatherapy. So it actually looks like it's pretty um, liquidy. If you guys can see the consistency, there we go. It smells really good, but I'm excited to try it and see what it's all about. Also a scrub in a tube is always a good idea. It's just less messy. So it says the scrub can be used as a dry rub before shower or bath oh, or in your shower. Okay, that's kind of a good idea. I might do a dry rub with this one and try it out. But anyways, putting this one in just to test it out and see what I think of it. And that's it for the updates for my July Project Use It Up. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that, seeing a lot of progress. I think next month is gonna be a really big and exciting video because I have about like seven products that I'm really close to finishing and that I totally could if I just focused on it. So I'm hoping I can get through those and that'll get me up to like the 10 mark. I really wanna use up, I think my goal was 15. So if I get to the 10 mark by next time, I think we could definitely hit 15 by the end of August. So that would be awesome. As just a reminder, this is the summer project and it goes through the last day of August. And then on September 1st, we're gonna start the fall project, use it up. I know I've been talking about fall way too much, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> but am I sorry? Not really. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Let me know down below what has been your signature scent for the summer. I think definitely for me, it's been beach nights. I it's It was beach nights last year too. So we can see a theme here and I think I'm gonna run out of beach nights for next year. I think I only have one more shower gel. So it's gonna be a sad day when I run out of my beach nights, but it's been my signature summer scent and I've been loving it. So anyways, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.